we go. Welcome to the ULI Podcast, a podcast where if you ain't sipping, you trip. My name is Brian. It's Chris. Lord. Your favorite pie, SRD. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, like every week, we back. Ready to kick that shit. Ready to have fun. Talk about all these topics that's been popping. I am not getting drunk like I did last week. <laughs> hey, man, I hope you do. That was funny. <laughs> Not happening. That was funny. We all Chris, you had me dying last time, though. No. Uh, we got the shot, we got the cash app, we got the push ups. I don't know if everyone want to do a different punishment. I'll bring this in. I, honestly, I think I need to take a penalty shot. Also, I owe you $20. Yeah, you do. I remember. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> six, uh... Okay, I'll take a penalty shot. For what? And I got to send you $20. Oh, it's for the uh, game five, game six. Uh, that's the, you going to take a shot for that, too? Uh, I'll take a shot because I didn't pay you. I forgot. I'll take, take a shot. I just want to take a shot. I don't know if y'all can tell. Insert a money sign right above my head. <laughs> All right, then? I yeah. Think I think. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, hey, ain't um, no foreplay in this, nigga. We <laughs> <laughs> first, first, I do want to uh, take the time out to, like, send our energy and our, our positivity out to Louisiana. They just got hit with a hurricane. Yeah. I didn't see uh, that. Hurricane Zeta hit them at a... Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, two? Does it reflect badly on me that this is news to me? This news badly? To me? No. no clue. Badly? No, no clue. It just happened today. Like that happened that, today? I okay. Yeah. I don't yeah, think, yeah, I, yeah. Really, just, I, think it, I had other things on hit, my mind today. I wasn't even paying That's a category two, so we just, I just want to take time to send, you know, our, our okay. positive energy yeah. out that way. And Absolutely. Um, but my topic, my topic is uh, pretty much COVID, and um, the fact that everybody's giving up on giving any stimulus or any aid during this time, um, and everybody's kind of taking the consensus of resuming this shit after the election mm. on November 3rd. Uh, COVID numbers have spiked. Mm. They're still going up. Still going and up. Trump's chief of staff just said on CNN that yeah. they're not going to try to contain it. Yeah. We're not going to yeah. contain yeah. it anymore. Yeah. We're just going to try to treat it like the flu. And come They've been saying that. that for a while, but yeah, I, uh, go ahead, go ahead, finish that. But, but I, I just want to, you know, hear y'all thoughts on that. Um, <clears throat> with all this stuff coming so close and whatnot, and <clears throat> this stuff being a big deal, and the holidays right around the corner, and I sent you guys that, that Gavin Newsom guidelines for the oh, holidays. It's a little different yeah. now. Crazy. It's serious still, so I want to know how y'all feel about that. Brian, you seem to have some thoughts. Well, first of all, I didn't get to finish the Gavin Newsom video. I can't remember oh, why. Oh, yeah, we stopped it. I started it, but I think we pulled up Maury, so I didn't get to watch it, so we're going to have to pull that up. Um, okay, well, I'll start. I am of a mind that, yeah, we have one week, like literally one week till November 3rd. We, uh, let, you know, we can wait. We, we we have to. Like, what's the – there's, there's two options. We can wait and hope for something better or wait and know that it's going to get worse. But right now, like doing anything right now, we're we're just in the middle of chaos with that, with the uh, COVID, with uh, with COVID, and with the stimulus. Uh, more with the stimulus checks, I would say. It's terrible <laughs> that we're not handling COVID right now, but with the stimulus checks, like uh, like they're being kind of held hostage right now. Yeah, because this should have been done months sides. ago. Like, yeah. we, we by did, both sides. We yeah. just stimulating a while ago. So now it's a whole political ploy. I, I would think that um, the stimulus checks are gonna. Uh, I don't know that that's too much to say. I would I would bet that there would at least be one more stimulus check if Democrats win the presidential election. Um, and there's a chance that we might not get it if Republicans win. They, there's a chance that we do get it anyway, you know, so that they'll have good publicity. But I mean, by the time the Republicans win, they ain't gonna give a fuck. They're gonna go full gangster on us. You know? I feel it. But Brian, what, considering the fact that we are eight months into this mm -hmm. and that we've only received any type of aid or relief, mm -hmm. Way back in March, yeah, that was even out. Out. Yeah. ran out in May, and we been at a standstill. It doesn't that define like a failure on our government's behalf? Totally. Okay. Like, we can talk. We can talk about that one, but that's just one failure. Let's talk about the main failure: the failure of even bothering to try to contain COVID in the first place. I they both. That's, they both are the same. That is the failure. They are not the same failure. There's one where they failed to give us money, but you wouldn't have to give the money without the COVID. Yeah, that's okay. what I mean. Okay, but like if we had taken the precautions that other countries took, <clears throat> then maybe yeah. the impact on our economy would have been so, have been so bad. They needed one. And and the not having a stimulus check wouldn't wouldn't have hit so many people that 
hard. Like having that one stimulus check might have went further if we had added the other precautions to it. And we didn't do that. So we, we had a pandemic yeah. team that already had this stuff set up. Yeah, the one, yeah the, the one that, our, that we needed to be spent. The one that our current uh, White House fired. Yeah, the whole CDC that they basically disabled and uh, told them to stop telling everybody the truth. Yes. So I think that that you. was the main failing. Like they could, they could keep sending us money. I'd rather they not. Like, don't send me money, please. Just, just get this shit under control. Tell everybody to wear a mask. Make it. Why is it either or? Because I, mean, I don't. I personally, I know there are other people that need money. Me personally, I don't need your money. Give it to, oh, fine. Give it to other people. Whatever. Those people like, that ain't, ain't working. They it. need it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fine. Give it to other people. Whatever. I don't need the money. What I want. Is security and security would be everybody just kind of trying to follow guidelines the best as they can and that's not happening right now right now we got people that, that believe yeah. that they should be allowed to do what they want like three-year-olds i was gonna say it seems there's you people know? still following covid like that i see people wearing masks but other than that people seem to be going wherever they want to go i'm seeing on instagram people have the whole house parties again kickbacks and hearing well, i mean here in town kind of like shit is going down like there was something there was like a uh, uh, I can't remember what the event was. There was a shooting there and everything. There was a bunch of people there, you know? Yeah. 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 And uh, well, it's, you have, when, when you have your president fake way getting COVID and telling everybody it's not a big deal and don't let it and that run their good. life and shit, not only yeah. is that poor leadership, you like endangering people to go yeah. out there and, and me that and Chris don't kinda, have the same uh, quality of medical care you would have gotten as president. Me and Chris kind of expounded on, uh, like, you know, some <laughs> conspiracy theories of just like, like, uh, you know, did the president really get COVID or like what to the extent of how he got it and all that stuff? Yeah, and, we like, talked October I think I, our all favorite that. thing was that like he took, uh, he took a vaccine and, and that was his uh, thing, but his <laughs> immune system was, was reacting to it, you know, so he had a little symptoms. Yeah, he like, he, yeah, he like down near 75. So even taking a, a vaccine for something that oh, would give him reactions. I feel like if he caught the real COVID, there would be no chance in hell that Donald Come Trump on. Come on, you know, but I, you know, I'm not gonna push on that too hard. But just to say, like, they're trying to downplay the whole thing, and I feel like that was an effort to do with that. Uh, I think it failed. I think that it failed for him pretty bad. Uh, but you know, getting back to the subject of just the the stimulus with the stimulus check, yeah, with everything going as bad as as it is, there should have already been a second one. Yeah, they should be talking about a third one. Or if they weren't talking about a third one. <laughs> They should have gave us a fat ass second stimulus, yeah. like a fat or oh, sustainable. Yeah. But there's a lot of also, people. there's yeah. been. But before you go on and hold that thought, there's just one last thing. There has been blowback. We were talking about goddamn rappers and shit, like people uh, uh, doing uh, unemployment fraud. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. 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 yeah, I believe we brought this up, right? What? Did, did we bring it up? Which did we one? bring up that yeah, rapper really that I was talking about? Oh, dude, they uh, put the songs. I don't, I don't think that makes it cut. I don't know. I think we talked about it last week, but I don't think it made. Y'all gotta sell cocaine. I just file a claim. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And then, uh, and uh, you know, do he some... had the he had the mail in the video and shit with the different names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. awesome so there have been people there. There have been people nah, nah. jumping in on uh, that, taking man. advantage of the system. So apparently, there's just a lot of flaws. But uh, go ahead, Sharon. <clears throat> there's, there's a lot of flaws. There's a lot of holes in that. Or whoever. I would say. There's a lot of people like me who actually lost my job yeah. due to this shit, yeah. who haven't had no income since about March. Mm -hmm. So for me, for people like me to keep dragging it out and then be like, we're working on something all the way up to now and then get to now. And it's like, well, now we're just going to wait. That is it's like you bullshitting me. You bullshitted me for the last eight months all the way up to now. And that shit for me as a voter, that matters to me. That shit means something. Because now, if you didn't care before we got to this point, it's kind of like what Brian was saying last time about the Republicans being desperate for the votes and stuff. Now you just do and say whatever because we're here at the voting. But you've already shown for the past few months you don't really give a fuck about well, no relief it, aid, no fixing the corona, no on nothing. That, and on that point, Democrats and Republicans. Hasn't, hasn't Trump been saying in those debates that he has a plan ready for the stimulus? Like, he, no. hasn't that been like his biggest. Uh, Stands like I'm ready whenever and he's always pointed it back to Congress, right? Like they mm -hmm. they gotta agree and if whoever's a president, like Congress still gotta get their shit together in order to get they still gotta get their shit together. Food. And like people like Nancy Pelosi, who's been actively blocking negotiations, mm -hmm. trying to trying to uh <laughs> manipulate 
the the voting and shit or, or wait until this to get a leverage for Democrats and shit up until election. To me, that's bullshit. That's funky. Okay. You protect your own interests. Nancy oh. Pelosi, rich as fuck. She don't really give a fuck. I'm putting Maury on the spot because he's been quiet. Yeah, she's not even in the. Uh huh. What's up, Maury? <laughs> as a well paid nigga. <laughs> working, working for the state of California. <laughs> your, well, what do you think? Like, as far as uh, not having got the stimulus things, and I mean, after the story you just told me, yeah, you know, like your fear of catching COVID. Like, come on, man, <laughs> what's up? Like, if I heard of this dude, I'll be like, I'm not going in that cell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I ain't going in there. <laughs> man, that yeah. dude's walking COVID. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, he got all kind yeah. of shit going on. But yeah, man, I, I feel what Sherman's saying. No, far as. He lost his job. A lot of people lost their job due to this, this outbreak. And I mean, I'm grateful that I, I, I kept my shit. I, man, not You took a hit though, too, didn't you? Didn't you take a 10%? Uh, yeah, yeah. they, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so well, we you took did. a little hit. Yeah. We took mm-hmm. a little hit. As far as like. He got so much money, he don't even know he yeah. lost. Hey, man, you got 10% man. back. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, you, you know. <laughs> but I feel what Sherman was saying, though, like eight months, man, ain't, ain't nothing came through since March for, for the, another stimulus. Like, we need. That's the true. ones that don't have a job that's now, true. and it's the ones really suffering, they should be the first and foremost persons getting this stimulus package. Off the, off I'm the with game. you. Like, if you don't get it, you won't miss it. But somebody like Sherman exactly. is saying, like, hey, like, since this shit started, I'm hurting. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of people. There are millions of people uh, that millions. they should be getting that. Mm-hmm. Those are people that should be prioritized. There should be some kind of database for people that lost their fucking job. Like, you know, you unemployment? An EDD? I don't know. <laughs> like, that's not a database. Like, there, there should be some kind true. of register. It gets a database. People that go in there don't got jobs. The people that register, those are those people, people that have to volunteer and register. And that's, like, that's more than people who lost jobs. That's people that wasn't working in the first place and Agreed. people who Agreed. lost their jobs. Agreed. So, people, mm-hmm. if, if a job could send to the government saying that all these people got laid off or whatever, and you're in that database so that the government already knows when you put your name in, like, okay, so this kind of, like, it could have been that simple. Like, I feel like it could have been that simple where you set that stuff up so that people who lost jobs, they can know who lost jobs and who's applying for yeah. unemployment. Mm-hmm. Those could have been two, I mean, uh, the well, same prepared. thing. That's going two, right back to not being prepared for this. Yeah. We can, exactly. talk about this. we can talk about this administration all day. But the point is, yeah, for me, not so urgent. For other people, like, I would rather they be taken care of. Like, I didn't yeah. trust the money I got. I didn't trust the money <laughs> that I got. I was man, what is this? Hold on, man. It Hold on, man. What the fuck well, is this? When it popped up in my account, of course I'm glad to have that money. But I would, I didn't trust it. So it's not like free bit. money, right? Doesn't it have no. tax implications yes. for the next year? So Yes, not happy it's about it. Money anyway. I was not happy yeah. about it. I was like, don't give me free money. No, no please. Yeah. yeah exactly. Give it to somebody that else. Good, I, need it. It. I mean, the money is still pulled from our tax pay, from our tax paying dollars. So yeah. it's yeah. not them giving us their money. They're maybe, giving us very, their money yeah, back. It made me very yeah. uncomfortable taking that money. I was like, oh, the government's just giving me thousands of dollars, huh? Don't buy it. Well, since everybody else gave their piece on they, well, I... We had two checks in this household. Lost one because of the because of the COVID. So like all the bills was going to be on the strength of my check until and then we went like we went like three four months without getting nothing back from the EDD. Like they wasn't they wasn't asking phone calls. They were denying her claims. Like they said she couldn't get it right. We had to we had to find through family somebody that knew somebody that worked there. Got in contact with them after hours and she did and she did the shit for us. And then that was that was a big relief, really. Wow. I mean, oh, finally, because you know, yeah. like, good God. But see, to who needs it? Yeah, like, who needs yeah, it? Like, so don't give me. me I don't know how much. How I got thousands that I didn't need. I was like, I'm still working. Like, okay, well, shit, nigga, hand it over. I got three kids. Yeah. I got yeah. thousands. Yeah. Yeah. I got thousands between me and my shit. I don't need this money. I tried to put it to good use. Happy. Whatever you know, we saving money or whatever. But Thousands. like, I was like, I don't need it. Like, mm-hmm. get like like give it to Chris. People give it to people Sherman. That need it. Like, I don't want. Please, I I know you guys are about to charge me for this in like five years. When something <laughs> come up, come up. We got a pandemic. Yeah, I file my taxes. <laughs> and like five thousand dollars come out. I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? That's, that's, that's that. what I'm gonna say. And that was what yeah. I knew. Like when I got the money, I was like, oh, there's no way they're gonna let me get away with this. And you were, oh, really? Free five thousand dollars? No. Nope, not happening. Well, you know, we know what you could do. It was, it was, it was Have you heard of uh, a nigga named Peter Popoff? What? <laughs> Have you heard, of, heavier, uh, of a nigga named Peter Popoff, bro? So l- let me let me tell you about this nigga, bro.
Shut up. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I'm with Brian. I, I'm with Brian. Like, damn, shit, just that's embarrassing, right? That's how you solve COVID, that's right? Embarrassing. There. Oh, man. That is, <laughs> really? <laughs> are we are are we that God fearing? Are we gonna let anybody take advantage of that fear? He frauding, bro. He frauding everybody out there. That's, our, but, that's a whole other topic. Of doing that. Yeah, that's a whole other topic. We have a long history of doing that, though, Brian. Yeah, on on the COVID that. stimulus, you know, I'm Letting trying. People use our, I'm, I'm trying to get yeah. over it. We could, yeah, <laughs> we could, we could go very deep, and we're not gonna do that. We could, we could actually structure that conversation and talk about it later. That's just, that is just, that's um, something that yeah, is yeah, <laughs> we could talk about. It's very. Yeah, I got many a feeling. Oh, on that. I think we all do. We we all pop off. Oof. But I, you didn't oh, even yeah. get into the COVID guidelines stuff for the holidays. I seen that they were like shutting down trick or treating in, in LA and stuff like that. Bruh. I hadn't heard for Karen County. In California, yeah. nigga, hey, play the, it's a whole uh, set of guidelines. And I mean, play the guideline video that you sent us. Is it a long video? Can you just hit us with the highlight points? I don't know how long it was. Oh, hold on, it's, it's not it. long. She covered the highlights in the beginning. Yeah, she was just talking about And then the, the LA, LA Times article that I sent y'all, at the bottom, it lists all the guidelines. In the LA it's Times a, article. It's 11 minutes. It's an 11 minute thing. Oh, I, what I, I'll just... Uh, Open up the article I sent you and, and scroll to the bottom. It lists them. Christmas and Thanksgiving gathering guidelines. This is what Gavin Newsom has rolled out for the state of California. No more than three houses. Did you guys get the, the link? I got it. I, this is what you sent me. No, to the uh, LA Times article. To the what? Yeah. To the LA Times article. Yeah, it's probably all got she, that. He got it. She's saying it right here. Households that would be like my grandmother's house and my mother's house can mm -hmm. come over, and that's it. So, you know, my parents are divorced. Sorry, Dad. I guess you're not invited this year. Can y'all hear it? Dinner. I'm only allowed yeah. to choose yeah. two households. This could, I guess, be good if you don't get along with everybody in your family. Then I guess you could exclude and say, hey, listen, you know what? Uh, Gavin Newsom put out these rules. I'm only allowed to have two. You understand, right? Um, it also says here the host of the gathering must collect all right. names and addresses of those attending. What? I'm sure I've already got that covered. It says all gatherings must be held outside. Okay, no. I don't think anybody's going to be doing Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner outside. Let's go the fuck out there, man. The fuck? Nobody's saying that all gatherings must be held outside. It says you can go to the bathroom inside if the bathroom is frequently sanitized. You wow. are allowed to gather in an open park, ha three households only. So even in an outdoor setting. So what they're saying is you must go outside. And even though your gathering is going to be outside, you can still only have those three households together. What's the penalty? That doesn't make any sense considering restaurants are open right now. And I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're going back to school. At an uh -huh. outdoor restaurant, I am eating yeah. with way more than two other households in that restaurant. It says um, all seating must be socially distanced. Mm -hmm. All food must be in a single serve disposable dish. You must wear a mask at all times unless you are eating. You can only gather for two hours maximum, which I guess, listen, if Thanksgiving dinner has to be held outside, and in some places that's not exactly the most pleasant place to be in, the, in, in November and December, then I would guess you wouldn't want to be out there more than two hours anyway. And also it says singing is discouraged, but if you must sing, you must wear a mask and sing below a standard speaking voice. Singing, nigga. Hey, wow! Singing. It's actually true. I want to read for you um, a little bit more of... The niggas can't uh, sing? ...from the actual... Um, oh. I don't know what it, what it's called that he put out there. Like, like a mandate or a... <laughs> <laughs> oh god that. bro it ain't no one gonna follow that shit man gathering the risk of transmission increases that's what she ends up saying in the video she's gonna be honest i'm not gonna do any of this for gatherings all gatherings must be held outside shit, attendings may, attendees may go to inside to use restrooms as long as the restrooms are frequently sanitized it says just cancel it then if we got just just, just cancel the shit yeah bet they don't do that though you need them toys bro well, <laughs> <laughs> At least you can remove your face covering to use your asthma piece of respiratory droplets and fine air. Um, also, it does say that those who do participate in these activities should, quote, do so quietly. And shut, the, shut up, uh, huh? Normal speaking voice, so you have to whisper your song and wear a face covering while engaged in the activity. Ain't said. Whisper. That's, said. Enough. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. I don't know what, uh, we're not even halfway through the video. Okay. Yeah, that's wild. Wild. What'd you see in there, Sherman? Oh, uh, you the, the, the just, just the guidelines typed out. That's crazy. Yeah. 
Man, ain't no one. Man, what? There is no fucking nigga. way that's gonna happen. Is it not nope. gonna happen? I, I'm so many people you are gonna have a ticket. Or I say in yeah, Bakersfield, I'll say in Bakersfield, the cops are gonna be so busy spending time with their families, breaking all these fucking rules that they're not gonna give a fuck about anybody. It, no, that's ridiculous. Now you know, and that's ridiculous. If you do sneeze, you should have a Kleenex two <laughs> inches wide upon thy mouth. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's just they ridiculous. That's childish. They could have gave us better guidelines. Like, that's some childish <laughs> shit. That's Catholic. That, that didn't come from one that. person. Gavin Newsom. That's didn't from your governor. Say about how we were no go. Oh, man, that came from a room full. That's from Gavin like, Newsom, yeah, yeah, yeah. nigga. Yeah, Wait, and what? you know what? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was, was ranting. <laughs> That's from Gavin Newsom from the governor, bro. <laughs> nigga, fool. On the CDC so on website, or on the on the the California Health Organization website. It's been well, Biden, that, shit. that shit is malarkey. Yeah, let's all give it. We did, we asked spent a long time on the topic. That's some malarkey. Everybody, uh, thoughts on the guidelines. To me, yeah, that's talk. trash. Ain't nobody. It's, Dang, it's hot garbage. garbage. Yeah, I'm right there. Oh, it's, you say garbage too? Hot garbage. Even it's listening garbage. to it, it's I was like, I understand yeah, why right. they're saying right. all this shit, but it is so unrealistic. Unrealistic. It ain't gonna happen, bro. Nope. Yeah. Not unre- not just unrealistic, but it's overreaching, my nigga. Yeah. You really yeah. trying to control. Like the if inside a, of my fucking house. house. If a Kern County sheriff comes knocking on our door on Thanksgiving, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, y'all need to go find some white people that's breaking these rules first, mm. and then come to us." Y'all know right. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, don't come looking for everybody else breaking the rules. Go find your people first, and if they following all the rules, then y'all filter down the. I don't get how we can't have Christmas and Thanksgiving together, but they expect people to go back to work and school and prisons Ooh, and stuff yeah. is still open. Oh yeah, we working like, with what? no excuses. Like, working. What? <laughs> Dealing with people who don't want to wear their mask correctly, people who will take their shit off yes. in the middle of the store, and you will come to yep. my house and tell our entire family how to conduct ourselves. Hey, grandma can't nah. be two people. She gotta go. She nah, ain't six feet. Man. Yeah, they've been so inconsistent. You can only have three households. Don't crack down on people in the middle of the holiday. Cracking down on a holiday because you're scared. Niggas got big families, bro. Come on. Yep. Let's switch the topic. Anyway, I mean, uh, I've seen the uh, T.I. And Busta Rhymes, man, they uh, was, well, I guess, supposed to, to do a versus. But um, T.I. Can, can we get some snippets? Like, can we get some snippets? I'm sure he got some. Uh, I sent y'all the video. Okay, okay. Sent y'all, oh, sent y'all yeah. the video. I, 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 I expected Maury to do his little screen thing. It was bloop. Busta Rhymes, man, talking hella shit. Hey, he was roasting T.I., man. That shit was funny, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't hear it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I can synopse it. I have followed it a little bit. Like, uh, yeah. Busta Rhymes... Well, T.I. has sent early challenges. He was looking for somebody to go against. Uh, I think the first, mm. uh, who who did he say at first? I don't can't remember Jake, who he said, Jake. but they, they was like, nah. Nah, 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 it wasn't Yeezy, but Yeezy came. He was like, man, you call, you've been calling everybody else out, but you ain't came and slid my way. This is young, <laughs> young, uh, young uh, Yeezy. Yeezy? Yeah, Yeezy. young Yeezy. Ice man. Uh, uh, it kind of young, well, not Jeezy. It's Yeezy, right? Who is uh, who is Cuz? Give so me a somebody song. Somebody call itself Yeezy, even though Kanye. Who, who the hell is Yeezy? Yeah, Kanye. No, no, it's not Kanye. Who's the who dude I'm thinking of then? Is it Young Jeezy? I'm thinking of. Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, young Jeezy. It's on okay, I'm just calling him Yeezy. That's me then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you a goddamn lie, man. Tell okay. Ti, you've been calling everybody else out, but you ain't slid my way. And Ti, yeah. like, okay, I guess I accept you. But he declined facing Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes felt yeah. some kind of way. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he. Yeah, he, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was yeah. Like, okay, that's that's great and everything, but like, what's the the verses? Like, I really want the details. It's it's it's, it's like, history. Like, hits. What's a verse? No, not what's a. What's the verses? Like, I, it's I, I Ti would, and Young G. How long is it? Is it that long? Not Ti. They haven't done it yet. It's Ti and Busta Rhymes. So I want to see that. There is no Ti and Busta Rhymes versus. Yeah, that that. Oh, I declined doing it with Busta. That's okay. So I declined. Yeah. Okay, I assume that there was already a Ti. Uh, Buster Rhymes video. Buster Rhymes, I mean, see, I said Buster wasn't good enough. Really? My shit. So how did they go my with uh, is, who, how did it go with you? Who y'all got? No. What, what was it? My, my question is who y'all got, man? Buster Rhymes is it or T.I.? If, if they would have burst. Or is this a what if? It's a what if because T.I. is not going to go with Buster. But who would have one? Who, who, who got the most hits? Who got the most tracks? Who got Buster the most- Rhymes got higher energy music. So I, I think he yeah, could play yeah, he yeah. could play songs like because in a versus is all about playing them what song you play next and how you yeah. gonna move the crowd you feel me so I think Buster mm-hmm. can keep energy high whereas Ti is playing more hits 
but they the bullshit hits like the Rihanna's ones. He got his features that those those real mainstream ones that everybody know. Yeah, I got more hits than Busta Rhymes. I want to I want to have a little bit of input here because I don't think my like uh lately this is frequently what I've been having. So like I we have to make the switch to YouTube music and all that stuff. So YouTube music <laughs> setup is different, and I can either play my thumbs up list, which I do often. Or I can play a mix that they made for me off of my thumbs up list. And of course I'm gonna do that because they might throw me something new. Okay. I've been getting a lot of Buster Rhymes. And let me tell you something. I've been liking it. Buster got music. So like I've been listening to Buster and Buster so, like it. my assessment between him and I already like TI. Like I thought Bust really? What's it gonna be is one of my favorite songs of all time. It, it'll Thanks make the all time list. Yeah. That's such a vibe. Yeah. The video too, like it's such a vibe. Yes. I don't think we'll uh, what's it gonna I'm be? Jan Jackson. Jan Jackson. Uh, Jan Jackson. Uh, yeah. I was. I was gonna make. Yeah. Hey, I'm hard with you. I was gonna throw in a banger, bro. <laughs> I, 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 I want a favorite. Hey, nigga, no guy, singing. Gavin Newsom said it. Listen, <laughs> listen to Musta Rhymes as a writer and an artist. I would say way more uh, diverse and uh, probably a harder target. I think is. I think Ti would be an easier target. That bus, I, that it's, bus it's a it's a it's a delicate more. dance for me because it's not like who do I like more. I think like more is Ti. I like Ti yeah, more. I, like T. I, more. Yeah, I, just, I just think Buster would give a certain energy in a versus battle because it's only what like I think they play twenty tracks total, ten and ten something like that. And I mean, I'm not mm. sure you can look me up on it. Uh, but uh, that would be a hard one, man. Buster they, gonna they give play, you such energy. They play ten man. and ten, and I would know how I felt like right now. I couldn't tell you. I wouldn't probably know at the end of it. But I wouldn't play, know. Chose I wouldn't know chosen. who I would like more. I've listened to at least 10 tracks of Buster Rhymes, where I'm like, I can play that every time. Can we look at 10, 10 tracks each and say who better? Well, like, we got a list. Mm. Let's, 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 let's put a ULI on it. We can look them up. Everybody say okay. who they think will win in, in the versus battle between the two. And then we'll look up their 10, 10 of their best tracks each, and then we'll compare the tracks and see who we will feel. Will be I'll better. put my money on mm. Buster. Mm. Yeah, if I'm going to go with the 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 guidelines of the, the verses, I think I'm going to go with Buster. Even though I like T.I. more. I like T.I. Everybody yeah. on Buster? Yeah, it ain't going to work everybody on Buster. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that me? <laughs> you know what? I got T.I., bro. I got T.I. You ain't going oh, with no, T.I. No, for no, real. You wouldn't. I got T.I., man. T.I. got, hey, T.I. got more top 10 hits than Buster Rhymes, man. Name me five T.I. songs. Call me out. Name, name me five T.I. songs This right is now. the call out. This is, <laughs> this is a call out in itself. You got, nope. Name me five T.I. songs. You got face, <laughs> your phone face down. No Googling. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Man. Is anybody yeah. going to challenge oh, that? He said, he oh, said, oh, guys ain't close. That's one song. He said, T.I. got more top 10 hits. Anybody? Then Buster Rhymes. Yes, he does. I think he does. I think he does. Buster Rhymes been in the game like 30 years. T.I. is more like mainstream. That. More mainstream. I mean, I'm just waiting okay, for. Now, now we got. Now we got. I'm just waiting for somebody to call me out, man. That's it. Hoes, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for somebody to call me out. That's it. I don't even know. I, 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 I can know. name I four. I've heard one. I can name four easy. Oh, shit. You can say name of the song, but I give you that. I ain't. I got. I got to name five off the top of my head. Oh, we ain't even got top ten. If it ain't about the money. Don't be man, man. Yep. This ain't your bet. This that's ain't your bet. That's, 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 that's not even in the top ten. Maybe top ten. Let's put a shot on it. More. Rubber band a man. Why it is a teller band? That's Rose two. Am I right? That's three. Uh, all about the money. If it ain't about the money. He gave you that. Yeah, one. I ain't no, giving no, it to you. I give you two. I was trying to see. Oh man, that's three. And we gonna put a shot on this. Three easy ones. We gonna put a shot on this one. We gonna put a shot. Damn. Other than that, man, shit. I got two. Give me three more. <laughs> you going to not take a shot. Come on, like, show me, help me out, man. Nah, hey, nah, nah, nah. Come on, man. I like mine, bro. Let me guess. Let me guess. You about to take a shot? I want to guess. That one, Rihanna. That one, Rihanna. Uh, live your life. That that shit go okay. hard too. Okay, that is the name okay, of the song. Okay, that's three. That, that's, that's three. Cool. That's three. Then you alive, man. That's three. <laughs> that's three. We're not giving you all oh, of that. That's that's off the table. <laughs> that's three. Well, you, that's that's the ass song though. But you ain't think of it. I did, but that's one of the songs. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of it? I mean, the, the two songs one, man, where, like when I, it, when I when I became a Ti fan, two two specific songs. Bone Crusher. Never that's Bone Crusher song. Now. That's, hey, he on that song though. Oh, no. that's Bone Crusher song. That's Bone. You <laughs> said there. Bone Crusher too. Oh. <laughs> he on there. <laughs> you gotta get to that. Never Spear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on now. Hard version on there too. too. That's it. That's five. Ain't that five? That's four. Take a shot. <laughs> That's four. <laughs> four. And we gave you a, a bone crusher track too. 
That's, that's sorry, okay. 20 foes. Why you wanna? Yeah, 20 foes. Why you wanna? What you know about that? Oh, yes. Come on now. There you go. Come on, he got more. He got more top. Come on, yeah. See, I, hey, I'm a, sorry. I like, I like Bust. That's a good one, though. I like, I like Bust a lot, man. The breaking neck, man. That shit go hard as hell. Bust? Oh the, yeah. The energy on there, though. Yeah, I listen to break your. The energy on break your neck. The energy on what you bring it. The energy on pass the cavassier. Like these is real, like turn up songs. What about the? Hey, his verse, his his verse on touch it, bring it. Oh, wait, wait, stop. Stop. Is it, uh, uh, like, I can't Yeah, his yeah. first on that shit, because always one of his top <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He had a cool ear. <laughs> Back on my bullshit. Back on my bullshit was a good album. Back on my bullshit was a good album. That was a good. So, so I, 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 I so I won that. And that's only dealing right No, no, you got a shot coming. You got a whole shot coming. But you supposed to go 10 for 10, right? Y'all still, I think everybody chose. 10 for 10. What'd you say? What'd you say? I mean, was that yeah, it was I remember that song Buster did with Mariah Carey. I, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, it was a banger, though. Uh, yeah. Oh, it was to, yeah, baby, give it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit. Oh, that God damn, that shit was That shit was a Okay. Okay. That shit was a slide. That shit was hard, too. Yeah, that was good. And T.I.'s is more like, this best song is going to be more mainstreamy. That everybody going to know. I'm pulling up. Ooh. Then he got deep got, album stuff. You gotta be a real fan. Buster Rhymes top jits because I can't. Y'all still got Buster Rhymes over Ti? Right. I would take Buster Rhymes over Ti personally. In this battle, in this battle, yeah, I'll take Buster Rhymes. Ti didn't Rhymes. even give him the respect of, of honoring the, uh, the match. He was like, "Nah, you trash." And I don't really know <laughs> Jesus <laughs> stuff like that. Like, oh, if he yeah, trashed oh, it, it shouldn't oh, be a problem. Yeah. What's a young Jesus song? Okay, all right, all right. I'm about to. It's about to start, right? Uh, okay, long, okay. So we got. I be, I be getting young Jesus, young Jesus. No, oh. <laughs> right. We gonna start with number one. Woo ha! That's his first. His first hit. That's his first hit. Our biggest. Woo ha! And you don't know that one. That one. Okay, that's not a banger. All right. Woo ha! Woo ha! Yeah. All right. I, mean, I know it. But... Give me some more. Give me some. Give me some more. Was good. Give me some more. Was really good. good. Give me some. That was good. I know yeah, what you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look yep. at me now. Does anybody know? I'm that getting one? paper. That's uh with Chris Brown. Oh. I don't like that. That's Chris Brown's song. Man, he ain't busting my song. That's Chris Brown's song. Man, he spit hot fire on that. Like what I was talking about. Put your hands where my eyes can see. I think that's the one I was talking about. That's goodbye. See everybody singing that. Uh, touch it. Of Bring course. it, baby. Touch it. Yeah. Uh, when I ran into Sherman at Disneyland, that was the song that they was always playing. And then <laughs> touch it. That's yeah, right. Disneyland right. senior year. Everybody thought Hot, they could cram. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Ted had bring him out. Bring him out. the Cavassier. Banger. Pastor Cavassier. I um one. That's what four. I don't know what one is. Uh, what's I love my bitch. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, that's a banger. Okay. Make it clap. Do make it clap. Banger too. <laughs> Bro, it, the energy on these songs. Dangerous. Nigga, I danced to a hair, in a hair show to that song. I was a uh, hair clap? model. To make it clap? Yeah, I, and we had a routine <laughs> we had to do, and we did our modeling thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, made a powdered <laughs> wig. <laughs> Here's one more. Break your neck. That's my favorite one of all. That's my favorite one of all time. I've been listening to that one a lot. <laughs> That shit, nigga, with spitting hot man, niggas rapping fast. Bring energy like mystical, bring energy to song. Yes, danger. Get on so the floor, right here. But with more song, <laughs> he has that nigga, song. Inter- that nigga, remember mystical when he did that that song with Joe? This is one of my top. Like, what you lying? Uh, I can watch this thing. With Joe instantly. You said when he did with Joe? With Joe, with Joe Button? Yeah. I could tell you lying because he oh, started. Oh, it just regular. <laughs> he but he like, was in that one. Watch yourself. The rest of the round is something that give me myself. Yeah, I remember that. He brought the energy just straight up. Bring him out. Bring him out. Bring him. Come on now. Hey, that's uh, one of the best uh, basketball songs to come out. Warm up. In, He's in, only saying in, that in because BHS came out. To that. <laughs> it was live every time. And I, it was live every, every time. time. I, I wasn't jealous at all. I live didn't think every that time. that song was amazing when the players came out. And they, <laughs> didn't, they, didn't, that song. And they didn't even edit the barrel because they didn't know what the barrel was. That was, was a really good song, man. I was like, hey, man, yep. we slacking at ease. Why are we we ain't playing good music when we come out? Why are we going to do that? Why are we going to do that? That was a Buster type track. Bring them out. Bring them out. Which one? The Bring them out? Yeah. Oh, with the energy? That was mm-hmm. a Buster type track. 
Buster Rhymes could have got so, on that court. Out both out, out the both lists that we just named, y'all still got Buster Rhymes over T.I. Yes. Uh, over like Live we, Your Life. About I, yeah, I feel like, like we named less big hits. Oh, than yes. T.I., uh, man. You got it, bro. That was, that was for sure the argument. T.I. has more hits. Bigger okay. hits, more Okay, then. So what are we arguing about? <laughs> but the, it's, it's, it's a versus. It's not who has better hits. It's Maury, a versus. <clears throat> I, I think I'm gonna come over to Maury's side. And, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say T. I'm gonna say Ti. Ah, come on now. Come on now. I'm still come busting, on now. Man. I'm still busting. <laughs> you guys was listing songs about Ti, and I had more songs in as you were like listening to them songs. I was like, nope, there's more. No, mm -hmm. no, there's more. No, mm -hmm. but with Bus, I was looking for all the ones that I've been listening to lately, and I found them, and it didn't hit ten. A, ver a versus doesn't. Like you got? Do you say he didn't have ten? He wouldn't have ten songs to put on there. I'm just saying that I didn't find ten he songs. Put ten songs on there. Back recently that I was listening to with Buzz, like it was like seven. Well, then that's you not knowing the songs too, though. I, that is me not knowing the songs, but I know a lot of Ti songs. That's a fact. Too. I could have, and that's part of the in argument. the time that I grew up listening to Ti, I could have grew up listening to Buster Rhymes. That's part I of really the didn't. And I like Buster Rhymes. I did. I think everybody did. But no, I was listening to Ti. I I think Buster would get it. On the energy tip. Mm. On the energy, energy tip. tip. Maybe. Let's see. This is top tip. 10. Well, I mean, okay, but there's the entire tip, you know. Well, we're Let's talking a verse. <laughs> exactly. We're talking about, okay, so you're going to play a play on tip? That's what you want? You said you know, the energy top tip. Top so if you yeah, well, you, you, you wasn't making a play on tip, T-I-P? Hey, Sherman, Sherman got a little oh, I read too much into that. No, <laughs> yeah. Your face right there. I was like, oh, you just going with the, with the corn. Well, no. we know with the corn. Huh? Well, but tip <laughs> would get it, though. But no. <laughs> No, uh, no. I'll and and in the realm of the verses, even energy too. That would be I a good versus. What you say? That would be a good versus. I think it would be a good versus. Tip didn't. It's a really good. Tip didn't think it was worth his time. I'll oh, tell you your point. Tip feel like he got too many hits. It would be a really good versus. Okay, so can we talk about how Buster went 05 Yo Mama roast on this nigga? Then? I, I didn't don't. Watch, I, I, I didn't watch him. Go ahead, more. Did you have it? <laughs> That's how you get a nigga. Uh, I, I ain't though. got it ready, but I mean, uh, pull it up, pull shit, it up. Cause I didn't listen. Man. You get a few of them high ones. Like, in like, like with the hard. You old uh, long face, nigga. old school teacher looking face, having ass nigga. You went in like that, nigga. <laughs> you old. Is he reading word for word? Can we? Can we get a reading? He somebody looking for, he looking a, for the video. Somebody yeah. give us a good reading. I want like a solid. Like I want to feel like Buster Rhymes is insulting me <laughs> <laughs> when you read it. I need to hear this. Do y'all uh, think the Jeezy one was a was a? I still can't think of a young Jeezy it. song. Is that hey, well, young, young, young Jeezy? Man, I, I, no, I mean that, trying to take that's trash. Easy. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only Jeezy song I got off the top of my he, head, bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Can you turn it up? <laughs> yeah, it's already up. You gonna have to turn that sideways. A oh, full screen. Here, I got it on mine too. Oh, here. Hey, you know you can do this on the screen, right? Can I check it out? Oh, here. This nigga got a voice. Uh, 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 uh. A villain voice. Yeah, he kind of, Bus is kind of talking low, though. I can't remember how to scream this here. Y'all hear it? Barely. Mm. Yeah, man, y'all got to check it out, man. That shit's funny as hell, bro. Yeah, we'll look that shit's it. funny as hell. Yeah, that shit's funny as hell. But I got T.I., man. Even though Buster is a is a GOAT in this game, he been in the, in the game longer. But, man, T.I., I think he got more hits, bro. All right, with Mario on this one. I'm right. going. If, if they want to do it, I would, I would put my money on Buster. Mm -hmm. If they were. Come on now. Just come I'm down to the altar worried. and go with T.I., man. You know, don't go with Buster. I'm not going to Buster, too. I'm going to go with T.I. ship. I wanted to hop on, but I thought, I was recently listening to Buster, and I was like, I don't know. No. But after going through the song list on T.I., I was like, no, definitely I'm picking T.I. It seems like we got no interest in the Jeezy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now Jeezy. Jeezy suck. <laughs> That's the end. Let's put that out That's right it. now, bro. That's our conclusion. Trash. Who's better, Jeezy. Buster Rhymes or T.I.? Jeezy, son. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> well, I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Kanye was on the Joe Rogan podcast. Did anybody, I know Chris put a you know solid 30 minutes in. Mm -hmm. How long did you guys listen to Kanye rant at all? No. I didn't even know he was on there. 
Zero. Yeah, Did y'all see him on uh, Nick Zero. Cannon's podcast? On the Cannon's class? Yeah. Didn't hear it, see him on Cannon's. No. I'll Same I, shit. I'll, I'll do a little bit of Joe Rogan. Uh, Nick Cannon lost me when he couldn't. <laughs> he he couldn't say, say that word. word. <laughs> <laughs> I can't listen to you talk. He didn't listen to all credit. No. <laughs> okay. But go ahead. Go ahead. Kanye. <laughs> I was on the Joe Rogan podcast, and uh, I mean, if I could repeat everything that he said in a straight line, I would be some kind of master, you know, memorization person. But like, you can only give a cliff notes on what this dude was saying and doing. Um, but like, he was all over the place. I'll say that. That's number one. Uh, number two, there's definitely some instability there. Uh, that's another thing. Number three, another thing that I just didn't buy was his spirituality. Uh, not yeah, just, right not now. just his, his, his spirituality and how it plays against <clears> ego, <throat> his ego. Like when you start saying, I feel like God told me, I feel like God told me, I feel like God told me. And I'm just like, well, how many times did you tell yourself? You know, that's what I would be assuming. Are you confusing your inner voice for God? Um, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was just like, like doing. <laughs> that sounds like God. <laughs> it was just like listening to him. Talk, you know, there's this filter between him and God that he doesn't quite have, you know, in the right place. Like it, it seems to be awfully convenient for him to say, "I feel like God. I feel like God." And you know, that's what he was doing, all that stuff. So three was spirituality. Four was a lack of ability to focus during the conversation. <clears throat> and I feel like there was a five, but I'm so drunk I can't remember what I'm <laughs> It's not me this time. I'm good. I'm uh, he was just all over the place. Like, I, okay, I'm not drunk, but I'm definitely I'm feeling like, it. <laughs> I can't. I can't give you a list of five, but I think I gave you a solid four. I think your takeaways were pretty spot on, man. I, I saw a little bit of it, and I did watch the the Nick Cannon one, and he was speaking the same. One of the first questions Joe Rogan, Rogan asked was about the presidency. He's like, "Oh, he's running for president." And one of the first things he said was God told him to. Like he back in 2015, mm-hmm. he said when he when God told him in the shower and some stuff. But then after answering the question <laughs> for like five seconds, he talked probably talked about like seven other things before he acknowledged that he was going off track. And then but, like, that, like that's what I'm saying. And my biggest takeaway, and it was my takeaway from the Canons class, is his uh his financial standing validates him in his mind. He thinks because he has these three All billion money. dollars, he's mm. fit to be president. He's fit to have this relationship with God. He's all all this stuff, and it's kind of like beamed around his his ability to go from fifty million in the hole to three million three billion now. And, like, and I don't know. I just, I, just got, I just think that's the interesting. What you say? Did he talk about how he got out of fifty mil? With Kim uh, Kardashian's money? He, he never said it was because of that. He was saying because of his Kim Kardashian, money, Belgium, his artistry, Kardashian, his vision, and stuff like that. You know, he's, he's good at patting himself on the back. She she spent her money to pay off his $50 million debt. Yeah, he and said And that's how he was able to come out of that hole. In, that's in, in like, that's a, in like a I'm millisecond fine. span, fine. he admitted no, I, I'm he saying, I'm it. saying, for him to use that as validation, nigga, that's not from God, bro. That's from your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's that was my takeaway from it. He never said it. It's just me watching how he talks and how he handles himself in those interviews. I was about to say, does anybody here feel like they could reason with Kanye? No. Man, mm-hmm. hell no. Yeah, I think it would be. I, I, uh, I what I knew <laughs> and what I kind of felt from Joe Rogan was the words that I was thinking was, I would never invite this nigga to talk to me again. Like, I don't want to hear your ideas. Like, you know, you sound like you're you formulating ideas and shit. Formulating, but, yes, but, like in the process of, yeah, but like yeah. you, you, you're yeah. doing, you just like all over the goddamn place. Yeah. You all over the place, and Joe Rogan, like you can hear Joe Rogan trying to like mentally justify it and spin it so that the audience wasn't. But anybody listening to him, which I imagine a Donald Trump call is like, anybody listening to him be like, it's hard to listen to. It's really hard to listen to. And he's not wrong. A he's lot of that, like coming up with some points, he, he made it on crazy. the ballot in a couple of states. Oh, yeah. Not the right end, like he actually on it as the as the vice, the president, vice president, president. The vice president. He made it on the ballot in as vice president. president. He was he was playing the right end role for a while. Yep. Mm-hmm. Huh? He's been playing like the, the right end game, like he to be written in as president. No, he already put himself on the ballot as vice president. He could still be written in as president. <laughs> you could, but that's he, what he's been playing. But that's the game I playing. think my point yeah. is he put himself on the ballot as vice president. Yeah, he did. So people would probably just fill in that bubble instead of writing in Kanye for president because mm-hmm. he's already in the bubble. 
It was just it, it, okay. Whatever. Kanye for president might be worse than Donald Trump being president, bro. Oh yeah. Yeah. That would be that that would be worse. Straight up. He is clinically diagnosed as crazy. <laughs> it's like, hey, what are you talking about, Kanye? Bipolar. Bipolar, yeah, okay. okay. Not taking his... Okay. I, I would. I don't know. I don't think he, he's not taking his medication. And he's just... You know he's not. Place. He's not hurting Yeah, he's talking like that. <laughs> he's definitely just He's just speaking, at, speaking all over the place, like you say. A he's bunch not, of jumbo thoughts. He's not stable. Like, he, he ain't stable. It's just what it sounds like. Like, you listen to him, he's just like, I've heard people like that talk. When you know something's not right with him. I, I hear my fuckers talk that every day. Yeah. Okay. All right, nigga. Okay. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Like, you just get tired of listening to him. Like, okay, nigga. All right. Whatever. But the difference is, he's Kanye West. You know, he's got all this influence and, you know, the graduation mm-hmm. and all that. For real. And, and, and there are people that really rock with him still. Yeah. Like, in, you know, got his own Gap. church and he's shit a, now, whatever. Working with Gap and all that. Like, he he out here. He, mm-hmm. he all out here. So, he, what he does matters more than just the regular bipolar guy. Yeah, it does. Days, you know? So, yeah, because he got because he got money. That's the only reason why he. he got yeah, but he's not getting no help. Nobody saw like the little "I voted for Kanye." Y'all didn't see that. There was some. It wasn't a hashtag. It was like a promotion. I voted for Kanye. Mm-hmm. Man, who the hell voted for that nigga? It was. <laughs> I, I, it was not. It was very ingenuous. Like it was. It, it, it's sad that he's not getting any help for his mental issues, though. Is he not? Instead of an does he want it? To act out on these, mm-hmm. huh? Well, he said, "Is he not?" And, he and talk, does he want it? He actually talks about how he felt when he was taking the meds and why he doesn't take them. He felt like he was limited. Actually, like the, what the words he specifically said, I can't recall, and that was kind of really important. But that's that's the thing. These drugs that for these medicines are they do suppress. Yeah. Like he was saying that they were. He basically was saying that they were suppressing a really important part of him. But that important part of him also, like, was suppressing his reasoning. So, like, mm-hmm. it, you know, he prioritized his emotions over his ability to reason. That's what it felt like to me. Uh, sorry, I was looking at this video. He's got to find that balance for sure. I mean, I, I hope people aren't hanging on to his word, word you know, and like, ooh, what Kanye say? Like, I hope that's not the <laughs> yeah, 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 do with that. Hey, I think everybody <laughs> should be able to see him for what he is. But, hey, Donald Trump is president. I can't, I can't call it. Right. <laughs> I can't yeah. call. Yeah. Right, he's he's not he's just not spot on. Like he should recognize that you <clears throat> there needs to be a check on your ego a little bit. And there's there's never been a check yeah. on Kanye's ego. That's the problem. No. That's so, part of the Kanye experience, right? Part of the Kanye experience. Either you all the way into an ego maniac, which America is right now, or you want somebody mm-hmm. who's who's a, you know able to think and second guess themselves a little bit yes yeah, so a little just a tiny bit of second guessing we will, we would appreciate some please thank you very much yeah he calls himself <laughs> a genius way too much right. mm-hmm. i mean like hey man yeah, you go maniac in charge and we see how that's working out so mm-hmm. yeah uh, you know but that's that i don't think there's really much more to say about kanye but i i if i really wish you guys would have just it's really hard to sit there and listen to him. I think I got like an hour and a half in or something. I don't remember how long the podcast is, but I, I want to say it was listen. almost two, three hours. Man. It was long. I was listening while I was at work, and I can listen to almost anything while I'm at work, and I couldn't listen to it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna check it out for show after this. I'm gonna check yeah. it out for show. Yeah, Sherman might hear yeah, all of them. Be like, <laughs> yeah, I, re- I, I, I expect them to have similar. Things. Like, not everything he said is crazy. And you can you could pick that up. Some stuff. And not everything like, he okay. said was crazy. Like you could follow the threads, but they would just kind of fall off. At, some point. Would, at a certain point, you'd be like, "Wait, how we get what?" And like he would, and he sounds crazy. Or like when Joe Rogan was talking, and he'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Nobody knows what I'm but talking yeah, about right now." Continue listening. <laughs> Listen to the podcast, and I was like. Like he just sounded crazy. Like Joe was like, "Yeah, you don't sound crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're just very creative." <laughs> I was like, "No, no, <laughs> no, no." I was like, "Yeah, well, nigga, you do everything, nigga. Nice I don't know who he's about to, to do." But like, I'll, I'll get my <laughs> in there. I think you made some great points today. That had to be a thirty-minute episode. Like, yeah, he was here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that was some 30 minutes. Come in with Lisa Ray. Put my chips in the bed. Uh, Lisa Ray's about to break me. <laughs> so I seen on, on the gram <laughs> pictures. 
We need, we, we need pictures. We need pictures. Well, I seen on the gram. She come was, on now, we all want pictures. Man. Only fans, man. Come on, races. man. Y'all was talking about her when we were like eighteen. She was, she was so, saying. So like, I'm just like, damn, man, that was a long time ago. Yeah, boy, she was talking about how man. she's sick of having fans on here, negative, yeah. on her, uh, on her social medias and stuff like mm-hmm. that. So why should she should just? She wishes there was a platform she could <clears> just go to where all only her fans would be there. And then in the next second, she was like, I'm starting only on fans. fans. Oh, that sounds uh, like very organic. And then she, and then, so apparently it's going to be like a $20 thing. $20. $20? $20. You down for $20 a month, uh, Sherman? $20. You get all the photos. And Sherman said, yes, please. I paid more than that for my streaming services. Okay. She 50. Well, come on, man. I need some more. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see if I can see some four. Yeah, that's some what the Lisa Ray fans are saying. Because she's still top right. batters to me. Mm, this is just a little, little tooted up on the couch and a little ones, one piece. She's still top batters to me. I do it for you. Me. Let me see. I don't know, man. I'm on the fence right here. She's uh, she... she's still top batters There's to no me. There's no makeup. That's fresh out the bed. Okay, that's at, her. At the 50. It's uh-huh. Ray Ray. You, oh, you ain't fooling with it? Ah, the disrespect. I'm not being disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> she pre- actually posts pretty modest. I, don't, I can't really see much on it. <clears throat> Give me some more. I have no nothing bad to say about. I, I'm not gonna say. I, I don't think I could. She's just no. She's I'm a beautiful not, woman. I'm not going into it. Here you go. Here go. Here go the bikini woman. for me. You ain't, you you wouldn't look at the only OnlyFans account. That's good enough for me. I'm, I'm a screenshot, nice. so I put it. I would on. rather one. So the view in public. If I see. don't like, I don't want to. That like, that's not a kind of body. I don't. Never mind. Like, I I wouldn't. Listen, I haven't be seen going, her titties. Since I'm not trying play. to go pay more. I want money. to see her titties now. <laughs> they, they, you know, gravity doesn't hit the mugs now. <laughs> they're, they're not gonna be. What? They I don't think that's a but for me, I want to see really them really again. Good. Honestly, I would be looking at everything else. You know, like her ass must be amazing. I'm sure it is. That was always nice, but I want to see them titties again. I'm not. You know what? Pay. I wouldn't. If you want to see some and titties? And I also would not pay twenty dollars for no, it. I'm sorry. I'm not going to the OnlyFans. And more like hey, got, maybe out of curiosity. Don't worry, titties, so right, I'll pay twenty dollars for you, baby. Hey, just share. Just right. share the photos when you pay for it. More, you said you. <laughs> pay, uh, I'll pay yeah, twenty dollars yeah, yeah. for you, baby. Send them to him. Put them hey. in the group chat. Cardi B got all the titties, man. You go and see them pancakes. You know, sit on top of them things. She on OnlyFans. Not going to worry. People got like titties on her. This nigga more funny. They don't look the same. Her such tripping moves was like. They was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Solid. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you yeah. It was like, yeah. Feet, man. Those niggas. Yeah, they make good money on her. And that's Players Club, man. That's Diamond. She can react to whole scene. Players Club. Yes. Tween yes. Island? <laughs> yes. Like scene. You ain't seen Players Club? I've seen Players Club. The, the, the scene. Like, the scene. scene. The scene. I'm talking about where her titties were shown. When she Until stripped they put the, the strip scene. Oh, okay. That wasn't the scene for me. Need my there. money immediately. Fall out, boy. You might have to cut that part out. I don't <laughs> have to all up on yeah. there. <laughs> mm. Uh, yeah, when I start talking about another woman's titties, I can't. I'm not giving it. no money to it. That's, that's for damn sure. I'm single. I say what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Who I said this? Single, I still wouldn't give it a no thug, nigga. Well, what I would say is I'm not paying. I'm not paying money for that OnlyFans credit. Twenty dollars too? You gotta do a lot for twenty dollars. Do you? Dollars only. <laughs> Don't know what's going on. Okay. 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 There is free porn on this. Yeah, you could pay twenty dollars. <laughs> twenty dollars. You gotta you do. You gotta do some stuff, but you ain't gonna want to see see that from Lisa, right? You want to see quality. It probably won't just be pictures if she did an OnlyFans. No, it ain't gonna be some videos she in there. Said she gonna show it all. Whatever. Yeah. That, yeah, man. Videos. Whatever that means. Good. I want to see it all. She says she's going to show it. I want to see it all. Lisa Ray, I want to see it all, baby. You sound like he answered an advertisement. Oh. <laughs> like, uh, I want to see the back of your up. mouth. Cavity you want to see it all, yeah. Sherman? Yes. I do want to see yes, it all. $20, yeah. I'm trying to get my money's worth. Shit. Oh, $19.95. A-double-L. Plus tax? 
Shit. You can't just show a bikini photo. I'm gonna be highly upset off the twenty. But that's happening. You're gonna get an aggressive. You're gonna get an aggressive a lot. It happened a lot. That. You're getting an aggressive that. email. There was one movie star that did OnlyFans and like people was mad. Like they didn't get no ass, no titties. I've seen influencers start thinking it's like a Patreon page, like just another account they can hold, hold their following on with, without a, with the paywall, you know. And then people get mad. So I'm like, bitch, where the pussy at? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't here to buy no bags, goddamn it. Like, put it out there. I'm like, oh, like, <laughs> okay. like aggressive emails. Listen to the next one, I guess. Uh, other one I had brought up, just, you know, lighten the mood, keep it light, was what's the best Dave Chappelle episode? There's a lot of great ones. There's a lot of great ones. <laughs> the Rick James. You Rick got the, the Bigger Family. Oh. You got the Wayne Brady one. The most famous one is the. Uh, Die Murphy. Uh, what one? The, My the favorite blind, is the blind nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Clayton Bigsby. One. Clayton Bigsby. Yeah. My favorite is the Prince one. Mm, the Prince was, story is a really good one. Play basketball against Prince. That was good. That was that was good. That was really fun. I might pick Prince overall though. <laughs> that was really. That was. Hey, but his his best skit to me was the niggers. It's when he had the white, the white people. Actually, I might pick Rick James. I'm going Rick James. Yeah, I say Rick James. Yeah, I say Rick James too. Okay, that that was the whole episode, and it's really Charlie Murphy's credit. You know, like he, he told a, a great story. And then, yeah, yeah, he the playing the impersonation of Rick James, the fuck your couch, the five fingers to the face, it's darkness, darknesses, yeah. darkness brothers, <laughs> darkness brothers. <laughs> great episode, man. And like, I would yeah. never. Do something intentionally for no reason, but I remember fucking up that couch though. I do remember that. <laughs> like, I was like, it was like, crazy. It, was like, it felt so staged because they were telling a story and they would add the skits around it. Like I didn't believe it. And like years later, I have to be like, oh, this dude is really telling these stories. And Rick James was corroborating that shit. I was like, man, this dude was crazy. Yeah, I bought it all the way when they with the when they were telling the story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's some piece Charlie Murphy. That's a, that's a real one too. For real, that is too bad he was gone. He has a good story. That shit was funny. He said, "I, I Charlie Murphy didn't slap me. Charlie Murphy slapped the shit out of me. <laughs> he slapped the shit out. Of me. <laughs> he came in, and kicked the shit out of his chest. Man, when he <laughs> slapped him down to that table, I was like, wow. <laughs> I, 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 I slapped the shit down. Fuck the your couch, nigga." <laughs> And one joke took me out on his last time we rewatched it. He was like, uh, show Charlie Murphy, or not show Charlie Murphy. He said, uh, show me your titties, bitch. Yeah. He was like, oh, I wish I had two sets of hands so I could give him four thumbs down. I was like, oh, God damn. <laughs> took me out. <laughs> Great shit, stuff, man. Bro, that's terrible. I, I, so it might be Rick James. Also, I'm pretty sure Rick James. The R. Kelly skit was really good. I thought the episode get- wasn't the best get- episode, but. <laughs> that, that skit is really good. No, it was, yeah, that was one of the better yeah. skits, too. Yeah, like with full episodes, I would go Rick James, maybe Dwayne Brady after that one, too. Nah. Dwayne Brady. The Dwayne Brady episode was wild. Dwayne man. Brady was good, but it could take a back seat. I think there was yeah, a couple more before that one. Which one? <sighs> man, I'm just, oh, <laughs> Okay, man. Well, uh, what was that Harriet Tubman? Skit or whatever when they was uh they was doing the the uh he was like whipping them on the kid uh, thing. Oh yeah, the roots uh, ones and the outtakes and stuff. Oh, that that shit like, happy you know, whip him on the <laughs> thing like me turn around. <laughs> <laughs> that shit had me. Away. That was a good one too. That was, that was a, good a good one. I don't know. I like that. He one. put his hands up at to yeah. nothing. <laughs> I like that yeah. one. What's your name, boy? <laughs> hey, I told you. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ran after him. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> Play haters ball too. Was yeah. a good one. Oh hey, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. With Ice T uh, doing it and uh, Patrice O'Neal. The race draft. The race and draft. When keeping it real goes wrong. When Hilarious. It, uh, I use that to this day. The Me too. Was funny oh, too. God, bro. Just so we know, the nigger family was excellent, Sherman. I did hear that. Right? I definitely get my vote. This nigger. <laughs> <handle. laughs> I don't know what that nigger boy across the street. What? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll get the best seat nigger ever got in this place. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Nigger. <y'all, laughs> hey, did y'all, y'all remember the, the white swap episode? Uh, goodbye. <laughs> when he was like, when he was like, ooh, titty residue. He was looking at the bro. Who's that too? <laughs> Yeah, that shit. When he found that dildo, he was like, <laughs> it smells like right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I smell your lightsaber. <laughs> 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 areas, man. Damn. 
He need to come back with it. I'll be here. Dave Chappelle one of the best to do it, man. Oh yeah. Oh wait, hold on. How did nobody? How did we talk about all this Chappelle show and I bring up uh, Tyrone Biggles? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Red ball. <laughs> the Fear Factor episode was hilarious too. Red balls. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. When his, I'm, I'm had to to his first episode when he in the classroom with giving the show and tell of presentation <laughs> to the kids. Oh my god. <laughs> this nigga is a fool. Dear niggas, I need y'all to make some crack. <laughs> <laughs> Gave him the recipe. What he said, you do? What are you <laughs> 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 Oh, the chair. Oh, there we go. I told you, it'll snap. The bigums. <laughs> oh, this is the intervention. The, the bigums. This thing is. That's Tyrone? Yeah. Two, one. You coming in? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, a, that's a hot Halloween costume for you, Sherman. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I see sure you, you got a red that, beanie. Bro. I'm sure you got a red <laughs> beanie. I do. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah, that's on Comedy Central too. Get the app. Mm. The app. app. You say get the app. <laughs> get the app. Mm-hmm. I need to start watching more Trevor Noah, man. I think his uh, his uh, takes been funny. Yes. I'm watching a whole bunch of other late night shit, but yeah, Trevor Noah, I watched him a couple of times. Now, is is Dave Chappelle the best Trevor comedian Noah. of his era? Yes. Huh? Well, is Dave what? Chappelle the best comedian of it, his it era? It comes so effortless to him. It's yes, yeah. Yeah, guaranteed laughs. Everybody know if you're gonna watch some Chappelle, yeah, yeah. you're gonna laugh, and you're gonna yeah. think it's not just the laugh. Yeah. You, you're, gonna, to, you're gonna think. I, I listened to his stand up on on XM Radio when I was driving. You don't have to see shit. Just listen to them. Perfect. Just perfect. Bro, yeah. Mm-hmm. Best stand up should be that way. You shouldn't have to see stand up. Yeah, so you can't. You can't be doing anything important sometimes when you listen to some comedians because you'll be weak. We didn't get no you lies. No, we got we we seven thirty seven. We like really, shot. yeah, we really did not do very well. So somebody should have drank more. I'm blaming y'all. I thought we would have got some off the Dave Chappelle episodes. I thought this we looked up who, who did more ratings and stuff and all, all right. that. Can some, wait, hold oh, on, man. Boy, we got to find one more topic. Oh, more. he did take a shot. He did it. He did. He yeah, lost a lot. Mm-hmm. Name five T.I. songs. It's important now. Already, though, so yeah, it's important now. Yeah, it's important now. Baby, do you give me this oh, to me? Oh, you alive? Oh, we got, we got, there was yeah. one. Was there? Yeah, Maury took a shot earlier, remember? Yep, there was one. There was one. Uh, Brian, what, what's that? What's that crown your shirt? Is that, is that, that ain't big and small. Is it? Who, who's that? Big what is that? Small. Uh, I don't know. This was some street, some some shirt. Uh, it's just a mic. Uh, it's a very uh, comfortable uh, oh, shirt like, that okay. my wife got for me from a Christian concert. Um, oh, Christian concert. Okay. Hey. So this is a Christian concert, man. Uh, Look at look at Pete Popoff, man. He over there, man. Ah, <laughs> we gotta bleep out the pop off. Pete Popoff. <laughs> look at Peter Pop. Sing a song, boy. Well, that's been another episode of You a Lie. You a Lie. Song. Instagram, Buzzsprout. We got an iTunes account too. You can go ahead and download the episodes. We, it's on every time we uh, post. It's the new episodes on iTunes. So Appreciate all y'all rocking with us. Subscribe. It grows every week, man. It grows. So. Comments. Hit us with the comments on what uh, we should talk about. Which we talk about. We'll touch up on it. And it's been an episode of You Alive. I'm Maury. Oh. oh, I mean, you know, I got to plug myself in. I have a Twitter account. So if you want to tweet at me, <laughs> you can tweet at bdana24 at capital B-E, capital D-A-N-A, uh, you know, uh, whatever, capital D-A-N-A 24. That is. Well, yeah, yeah. We, we're doing shameless plugs. Follow mine, too. See yeah, boy designs you know. on Instagram. You know, check out my work on there. <laughs> yeah. On the graphic tip, you know, I'm well, out shit, here. You going to talk to my shit now. I'm always going to say it. You know, if you want to get an angry tweet or a comment, you know, comment on our YouTube channel like this is.
I, all I'm saying, like, I'll put some Twitter out there. Yeah, I would definitely love for somebody to troll me. Like, I would take that as a like, I don't care. I'm being trolled. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But, uh, yeah, seriously. Yeah, I just want to put my Twitter handle out there. I know uh, Sherman got multiple ways. He don't, he don't out here. Sherman, Sherman know a lot of niggas out, man. He know a lot of motherfuckers. You already know it's your favorite pie at Sir D's. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, at Sir D's. Uh, type of Sir D's, I'm the only one that I know of. So, <laughs> hey, follow me. Yeah, hey, hey, you a lot. You a lot. That's real. <laughs> Catch me on my OnlyFans page, man. I got a, a motherfucking.